get there eventually. You've come at a good time. We've just stumbled upon a beautiful journey of giraffe. There's one to the left. And she seems to be looking over to a large, large herd to the right that are spread out across this valley below us. And what an absolutely wonderful scene that is to get started off with. I'm very happy to be seeing these Maasai giraffe because where I've been for the last year, there's a different subspecies that occurs further north called the reticulated giraffe. And they look completely different. So I'm enjoying seeing the shapes and patterns of the Maasai giraffe. They've got more splotchy, irregular patterns with a less bold, kind of, it's not a bold white color, coloration in between, it's more of a creamy color. Whereas in my book that I've pulled out, I'll be able to show you a comparison of the two, and it's actually perfect because they're right next to one another. Look at that for an incredible difference. And just a few hundred kilometers north of here, you start getting these reticulated giraffe with very bold, clear, distinctive markings, and they are certainly my favorite of the giraffe species. Having said that though, all giraffe are quite wonderful, as are these Maasai. This one's covered in oxpeckers, which you can see catching a ride on its neck. Oh, well, well done, Vim, just in time. Maybe they're going off to land on another one. Now, I only got a brief glimpse. They seem to be red-billed oxpeckers. You get two types of oxpeckers, both the red-billed and the yellow-billed. Seems like that bush might be a little bit low for the giraffe to get to. Hello, Nick, who's only four years of age. It's wonderful to have you on safari with us. And Nick would like to know, what do the giraffe like to eat? Well, Nick, because they're so tall, they like to eat on mainly the leaves of trees that are kind of at eye level with them. But if they have to, they will bend down and browse on or chew on smaller lee or smaller bushes with leaves lower to the ground. But leaves is their favorite food. There we go. There's a good example of it bending down to get to, to some tasty leaves. But they do not eat grass. They almost strictly eat the leaves of trees. And isn't it amazing how big they can get from just nibbling on little leaves all day? Well, Nick, as you can see, they're all chewing away. So this is obviously a very tasty plant that they're feeding on. It's so calm and peaceful out here now. When I stop talking, there's just a very still and almost sleepy silence. And that's probably because it's still quite warm, so a lot of the animals are quite relaxed, taking it easy, but as the sun begins to set down to the west, I think we're going to be in for a lot more action and activity. Now, our plans for this afternoon are to kind of take a similar route to the one that we took this morning. The reason being is we left the pride of lion, the Angama pride,